Welcome to the lecture on introduction to SIMS. SIMS is computer integrated manufacturing computer integrated manufacturing. As the name itself says the manufacturing is getting integrated because in manufacturing you all know there are several islands of automation. These islands of automation has to be bridged. So, that is what is integration and how is this integration done by the use of a computer. So, this course is focused on computer based integration to manufacturing. So, what all will be covered in this lecture? We will first try to have a small introduction, then what is SIMS, then processes involved, benefits and usage, challenges, subsystems, present scenario and future prospectives. Today the world is moving towards digitization. So, manufacturing is also moving towards digital manufacturing. So, the idea of digital manufacturing became prominent in the early 1970s with the release of Dr. Joseph Harrington's book Computer Integrated Manufacturing. This gentleman in his book talked about digital manufacturing. He said that by using computers manufacturing is going to touch sky heights which is true at one point of time where all we did manufacturing using hand, now we are using computers and from virtual idea to a finished product by using the process of rapid prototyping. So, all these things fall under a major umbrella called digital manufacturing. However, it was not until 1984, 1970 and 1984 when computer integrated manufacturing began to develop and promote, promote by machine tool manufacturers, the computer and automated system association and society of manufacturing engineer. So, this is nothing but SME. So, all these societies join hands in 1984 thought of why do not we start a, a new era on computer integrated manufacturing. A thought process of 1970 came into existence at least on books in 1984, then on started growing. What made them a big bottleneck? Because in manufacturing as I told you, you will have several islands. These islands to communicate we always had a problem or this problem means it is a technical problem. So, this is an island for example, this can be a CNC machine, this can be a robo, this can be a, an inspection device. They all had different different hardwares, different different operating systems, they were not able to communicate with each other. Today they all have understood that until and unless we bridge everybody we will not succeed. Today we have a standard backbone platforms wherein which CNC can talk, robo can talk and inspection devices can talk. So, that is computer integrated manufacturing. A computer is a machine that can be instructed to carry out sequences of arithmetic or logical operations automatically via a computer program. Today computers have become palm tops, computer desktops then became laptops, today it has become palm tops. So, it is a machine that can be instructed to carry out sequences of arithmetic and logical operations automatically via a computer program. Modern computers have the ability to follow generalized set of operations called programs. These programs can enable computers to perform an extremely wide range of tasks right from music, music, listening, music, uh, forming or framing, it can be done. Okay. Artificial intelligence program writing, machine learning, data database management system all these things are possible today by different different programs, but done on a single machine called 
computer. So, that is the beauty of computer and computer is the first word in the sims C. Manufacturing, so manufacturing definition there are two ways, one is manufacturing is the process of converting a raw material component or a part into a finished good that meets a customer expectation or specification that is manufacturing. This is hard core manufacturing definition which happens in a shop floor. Suppose let us assume that you are trying to do a service sector work. So, then the definition goes like this manufacturing is a value adding process allowing businesses to sell finished products at a premium over the value of the raw materials used. So, you have a part, you convert that part into a product and here you do something called as value addition. So, this is what we are talking about. So, you look at it raw material, you have a supplier. So, raw material it goes to supplier, supplier to manufacturing, manufacturing to distribution distribution to customer, customer to consumer. So, distributor uh, uh, the distribution gives to a customer and generally the customer are called as consumers. So, so this is what is the thing. So, manufacturing is today very much talked about. Today we talk about IOT, internet of things getting integrated into manufacturing. We are talking about 4 point industry 4.0 in manufacturing, where in which we are trying to talk about various sensors these sensors getting integrated. So, you do online process monitoring and you produce good products. Let it be textile, let it be automobile, let it be a continuous part, let it be a discrete part. This is what is today happening and these are the advancements which are happening. So, I have already given the definition for C, I have given now the definition for M. So, integration is a word which tries to blunt these two. So, now let us see the definition for SIMS. Computer integrated manufacturing is called as SIM, is the manufacturing approach of using computers to control entire production process. This integration allows the individual processes to exchange information with each other and initiate action. For example, if there is a part and in that part several process sequence are happening. Once the process sequence are over, the part is told that it is finished. So, the next machine understands the, pro the sequence of operation which went on the previous process and then they try to do the next. Suppose in case if there is one of the processes which are there in sequence is missed. So, the product now is not worthy for getting converted in the further steps. Now, the information will be passed to the sequential machines which are in line that please do not operate anything on this part because there is a defect which is coming or there is a process which is missed, one feature is missed. In the next subsequent operation if it could be taken care then please take care of it. So, a defective product can be thrown out, a product can be repaired. So, all these things can happen it is because of this computer presence. Computer integrated manufacturing makes the use of a computer control machinery and the automation systems in manufacturing products. SIMS combine various technologies like CAD and CAM. CAD is nothing but computer aided design. There is a big difference between drafting and design. What we do just as a on a drawing board as only to draw the dimensions then that is called as drafting. Designing is the drafting plus simulation and optimization is called as designing. So, here we are talking about computer aided designing and CAM is nothing but computer aided manufacturing, aided manufacturing where in which we try to use computers to control NC machines that is why it is called as CNC machines right and CNC machine alone getting automated, but the uh, system for movement if it is not automated and if this does not talk to a CNC machine then there is no point in integrating these two. 
So, why do we want to integrate? We have to provide error free manufacturing process that reduces manual labor and automates repetitive tasks. Today, automation is thought of in a big way to remove repetitive repetitive task. Why repetitive task has to be removed from a manual from a manual operation? Because when you do a repetitive task, there is a possibility of error. There is a possibility for error and that is why people nowadays try to automate the process and remove the error. So, that is what is the function of this SIMS to provide an error free manufacturing process. In order to improve the productivity in manufacturing, we are trying to interface it with a computer. That is the major advantage of going for SIMS. Today, it is not only manufacturing, it is also documentation along with manufacturing. When I talk about documentation, it is a record on the day of manufacturing, on the day of delivery, how, how is it delivered, what is its performance, all these things fall under this SIMS category. So, here is what is the, the generalized definition makes the use of various computer controlled machinery and automated systems in manufacturing product. It combines various techniques like CAD and CAM to provide an error free manufacturing process to reduce the manual labor and automates repetitive task. The term computer integrated manufacturing is both a method of manufacturing and the name of a computer automated system in which individual engineering, production, marketing, support functions of a manufacturing enterprise are organized. This is the true definition for SIMS, is both a method of manufacturing and the name of a computer automated system in which individual engineering, production, marketing and support functions of a manufacturing enterprise are organized. In a SIMS system, functional areas such as design, analysis, see using computer you can do first is design, then you can do analysis, then you can do optimization and simulation you can do, then you can do cost analysis, you can do tolerance analysis, you see so many things can be done, right. So, a functional area such as design, analysis, planning, purchasing, cost accounting, inventory control and the distribution are linked through the computer with factory floor function such as material handling and management. Though we say material handling looks to be a, a very primitive job, but material handling today plays a very, very important role. For example, today when you do an online shopping, moment you try to shop and then you transfer the money from that day till the time of delivery, you are able to track where all your part is moving, who all is handling it when is it moving from one place to the other and what is the likely time you are supposed to get. So, that is very, very important. Today material handling was earlier only delivery. It is delivery the right quantity at the right time is material handling today. So, material handling has also improvised today so that there is lot of value addition done here and that also becomes part of SIM system and management providing a direct control and monitoring of all the operations. Today, there are companies where the headquarters is at Delhi and then you have factories at several locations in this country. So, the, the people sitting at the headquarter would regularly monitor what is the production going on, what are all the quality issues, what are all the quantity issues, what are all the maintenance issues, how to solve it. So, then how do uh, if a major machine is break down, how do people start moving? Interestingly, we at IIT Kanpur bought a machine and uh, that machine uh, gives a service that we connect the machine to internet while running the machine. If there is any problem anticipated, immediately the, the information is passed on to the headquarter of the company. 
they try to send us a mail saying that these are the parts which are likely to fail, please take care and then if you have to take care, uh, our services charge is this much, our replacement charges are this much. So all these things are now integrated. So a company sitting across the globe is able to control and talk about our production process very neatly and precisely. All these things happen only because of SIMS. So that is what is this major emphasis for this. SIMS is integrating various manufacturing sectors. If costing is also part of manufacturing. Inventory control is manufacturing. Planning, purchase. Purchase is also manufacturing. So purchase is also part of a manufacturing seg segment today. So if you see at SIMS environment, the data flow is very, very important. There is a data flow because of this ease in data flow, only SIMS comes into existence. Data flow is very, very important. When I try to flow the data, what are the major things? I should, I should flow data without error. I should flow data as quickly as possible. I should push data, the flow of data should be unique. That means to say it should not add anything else while the data is getting transferred. In before 10 years or 15 years, when we try to send a mail, so the mail transmission was never 100 percent. So today, Whatever you send through WhatsApp or mail, it is 100 percent. Why? Because the data flow is now streamlined and the errors are being ca taken care and rectified. So if you look at a manufacturing environment, design is the first step. So the design resources are passed on to the manufacturing resources. So design engineer tries to develop a part and then that part is uh, he converts it into a part drawing and the manufacturing drawing is sent to manufacturing resources. When the design engineer does, when a new part comes into existence, a new part, so the design engineer looks at the part, does a similarity index with in his uh, database and if there is a similar product, uh, then he tries to pull out that product, then he tries to work on that product and tweak it to the new product design and from there they try to give the process plan which is given to the manufacturing scenario. The manufacturing scenario looks into it, produces it and then it is now getting shipped. Today what we are trying to say is directly from the customer, the manufacturing environment is getting what is the requirements, how are they to plan their shifts and execute their shifts such that the product is made and shipped to the customer. So they do not even go to this point. right? So if you see that there is a data flow cyclically happening between the design, manufacturing, products. Uh, this is basically transportation or inventory or logistics or I would say logistics. So logistics to the customer, it takes care. So here is a physical world, customer to the design. So here is a physical world happening. So the data transfer can happen with the central system and this central system is, has, is called a cyber world. So all these four can talk to a cyber world, communicate between themselves or they can flow in one direction so that they try to transfer data instantly. Today we are able to enjoy online transaction is only because the data flow happens easily. Sitting in front of a computer, you are able to transfer money from the bank to, an, to a shop or a warehouse or to a website. From the website immediately it is authenticated, the item is released, the item is then packed and from the packaging it is now done delivery. So this data flow is the, is the most critical part and the best part of SIMS. This is a SIM wheel. So in a SIM wheel you see manufacturing management plus marketing plus strategic planning and finance. So though you might see all these people are not of manufacturing where in which the part is being touched by them. But they all play a very, very important role in SIMS field, manufacturing management, marketing, strategic planning and finance. In the next level of the wheel, you will see factory information, product uh, process and manufacturing planning and control. 
under manufacturing planning and control you will see shop floor material scheduling quality planning and facility monitoring these are all part of manufacturing process planning and control if you look at bookish we call it as ppc it is all here so we talk about scheduling and predominantly operation research happens here though it might look that what is manufacturing here but with this people optimization logistic control you save a lot of money right so that's why they put in under strategic and then next you see in the inside a factory you will have assembly you will have uh, material processing you will have inspection station and material handling so all these people are part of manufacturing information a process where in which it is uh, product is made the inspected uh, the, pro the produced product is inspected and then if at all there are several parts going to be assembled then there is an assembly and there will be a material handling during assembly or before this all these fellows there is a data transfer has to happen and that one is manufacturing information as far as product related thing so uh, we work on product process is robotics analysis and uh, and uh, verification documentation these are the three things which come under pro product process why is documentation very much talked about today is today when you see at any industry there will be the first version of a part this first version of a part gets improvised so then the second version is released when was it released who released it so that is a documentation they hold second thing is suppose today there is a part which is which is made from one industry and that gets into an assembly and then finally it goes to a customer so if there is a customer defect which comes into existence they would like to trace back and then find out what was the problem in the part and why did this fail in the service in the customer end so those things are called as documentation today when we talk about car assembly we are also interested to know which are the machines involved what is the status of those machines who are all the operators all those informations are stored and that is called as documentation so this uh, all these things are integrated at a center place which is a common data so this is called as integrated system architecture so this entire process is or the entire drawing is called as sims wheel the processes generally which are involved in sims are so are computer aided design and prototype manufacturing so they are uh, they are determining the efficient method for manufacturing by calculating the costs and considering the production method volume of products storage and distribution so sims okay ordering of the necessary materials needed for the manufacturing process computer aided manufacturing of your, of the product with the help of computer numerical controls so all these things these are the various processes which are involved in sims computer aided design prototyping then manufacturing then material handling and then uh, the numerical control machines the various processes involved in sims when we look from the process involved it is the quality control product assembly quality checking automatic distribution of the product and automatic updating of logs so all these things are processes involved in sims so why finally when we nail down to sims is because sims gives error reduction so thus leading to productivity productivity is max output by min input okay so for example producing maximum output with respect to minimum input means where i am talking about input is man material machine and today people also talk about energy so with minimum trying to get the maximum product output so it also tries to increase the speed of production when we talk about sims we also talk about flexibility that is why sims environment we talk about fms 
which is nothing but flexible manufacturing systems fms okay so this for this and then uh, so why is this more important because the change over time from one product to the other product they would try to optimize and they would try to do it very quickly so that is why flexibility comes into existence so if you so if you talk about a cnc machine it has flexibility in tools so you can make flexibility in tools so you can make any shape every shape provided those tools are available in the cnc machine magazine then the last point is integration i am trying to integrate both factory environment with the world and when i talk about the world is where in which it talks about the logistic control uh, transportation everything put together so sims tries to give a error reduction it tries to increase the speed of production it tries to give me flexibility in the product it also tries to talk about integration so these are the main advantages of sims error reduction elimination of human error in many assignments and reporting functions on a factory floor operating drastically reduces the error rate so that is why we try to reduce man involvement in fact nowadays we are also trying to reduce the processes uh, processes involved so if we reduce the part uh, processes then the number of defects happening in the process are all reduced we are also trying to talk about reducing the number of parts so all these things will lead to error reduction so we are talking about human error so that's what elimination of human error in many assignments and reporting functions speed environmental uh, sims environments reduce the time it takes to perform manufacturing fabrication and assembly line so speed here we are talking about agile agile means how quickly i can respond to market quickly responding to market so that means to say when the market there is a change quickly it gets quickly it is uh, it is communicated to the factory and factory people start changing their requirements to meet out to the customer need so this is the speed which we talk about then we talk about flexibility in with sims company quick react quickly react to the market conditions and then return to the previous setting when market conditions change so flexibility we are talking about so here flexibility is within the band for example there are circular parts uh, circular parts and there are prismatic parts so the flexibility will be within prismatic or within circular it will never be in the vertical of course today there are five axis machines six axis machines there are two axis cnc machines coming out where in which both uh, the uh, circular jobs and prismatic jobs can both be done in one machine but generally speaking the flexibility is within the band whatever you give right circular shapes all circular shapes they will not work on prismatic shapes okay integration sims sim offers a degree of integration that enables the flexibility speed and error reduction required to compete uh, uh, and lead market integrating factory floor operations with uh, enterprise software enables people to do higher value functions for their company so what we are trying to do is mundane job of documentation is now computerized documentation is computerized and the data is taken from the sensors so it is automatic and automatic and error free so the integration here means integrating different 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 segments trying to talk to each other so sims evolution over period of time it was first started with physical integration then it started with application integration today we are talking about business integration 
physical means a wire connection between the two. Application means where wire is not there. Today we are talking about business which come into existence. So, if we wanted to make a plot of SIMS integration C I M integration with respect to time. So, it was physical integration then it was then it was application integration the last one was business integration in each integration we will see what are all uh, steps were there so let me start from here physical integration we were talking about inter system communication then we were talking about network see all these things uh, networking is the major thing which happened network communication and management okay so then we were talking about data exchange data exchange so we today have lot of neutral files so those things all started with data exchange so rules and uh, so rules were fra framed during this time and then physical system integration physical system integration happened so these are all part of uh, in inter this is interconnection physical system interconnection okay so next uh, let us see in application integration what all happened So, portable, portable applications came into existence. Say today you look at uh, the Wi-Fi what we are enjoying, these are all portable application processing in a smartphone, these are all application oriented and uh, the enjoyment of smartphone could happen only because of this application integration. Then we also have common services. and uh, common services and the last one is common shared data resource okay so these are the uh, things which are under application software then last let us see business integration in business integration we are now talking about knowledge knowledge base decisions this is all nothing but your machine learning artificial intelligence all these things are part of it support knowledge base decision support business control The next one is automated business processing, automated and so you have here production, production and process simulation.
see all these things if you see physical integration application integration business integration we do today process integration so yeah, i was very much fa fascinated or i was astonished when i saw one of my friend who is working for a power generation corporation he could show in his smartphone what are the what are all the different turbines and what are they generating and how what is their efficiency going on what is the consumption of the power and how are he how is he going to meet it and he was even alerted 12 hours before saying that there is going to be a major power requirement and for which he has to switch on the next turbine for generating so all these simulation knowledge based understanding happens at the business integration